Everyone always talks about how important good audio is. Your image could be a steaming pile of shite, but as long as you have good audio, then you should be fine, right? Well, what if you could have good audio no matter how badly you fecked it up? It seems like a slight exaggeration, but it's not really. You see, recently Adobe brought out their Adobe Podcast Beta, and while you need to request access for some tools, one tool is available right now, and it's called Enhance Speech. It uses AI and machine learning to remove all sorts of background noise like hisses and echoes, and at the same time cleans up your audio to sound like it was recorded in a professional studio. I, I am being totally honest when I tell you that it blew my mind the first time I used it. And you may not believe me, but I just wanna tell you that Everything that you've listened to so far has actually been recorded with the on-camera mic on my camera. You see, I'm wearing this nice little lav, but um, it's not plugged into anything. Everything that you've been hearing so far is the raw audio coming straight from the mic on my camera. So I don't actually, I don't need this. I want to show you some examples where it really shines. <laughs> Okay, for the first test, I am using the Beats Fit Pro. These are just my own earbuds, and I think the mic on them sounds fine. I'm recording them into my laptop using the Notes app right now, so there shouldn't be any um, sort of secondary compression going on, like you'll see with another test I'm going to be doing. But overall, I think they sound okay. Nothing too crazy. I don't think they sound too bad. So I'm excited to see how they sound when we run them through the voice enhancement software. Okay, I'm testing it again, but this time next to a really busy road. And try to see if the audio will actually be cleaned up at all, or I don't even know if you can hear me right now. But I'm wondering if the audio will actually be cleaned up, or are you just going to hear cars and noise? Well, to test find out. Okay, for... Oh, hold on. That'll be for bad continuity. For this one, I'm doing the dreaded Zoom call audio. And I'm using the mics on my earpods here. And I'm sure you've been in a situation like this. Maybe you're recording a meeting, uh, doing an interview, uh, maybe even teaching a class, and you have the whole thing recorded through Zoom. And the audio, for one, through the earbud mic, sounds terrible. Second, the compression through Zoom just turns it to absolute shite. So really, all you're left with at the end is just a usable piece of audio. But we want better than that, right? We want good. So let's just see how it takes care of this. Okay, so now I'm using this little vlog style mic. Vlog style, okay. Okay, so now I'm using this little vlog style mic at the top of my camera, similar to a Rode Video Micro, but <laughs> a lot cheaper. And it's about a foot and a half away from me. Now, this is the kind of situation where you'd want the mic to be as close as possible, hence why I wear a lav, but maybe you're outside, maybe you're vlogging, and you just can't get the mic that close. Well, this is the kind of scenario that I'm testing for. So let's see just how it sounds. Okay, I'm now testing the audio and I'm shooting on my phone using the mic on my phone. And as you can hear, I am in a really, really, echoey room. Audio like this is the bane of my existence when I'm shooting and editing because sometimes when you're just out there you can't avoid it. There's going to be bad audio and especially echoey audio if you're shooting in spaces like museums or houses or even offices. So if it can make this sound good I'm going to be really really impressed. And I am impressed but it's not without its faults. In this clip especially, I think you can really start to hear the AI struggling, especially when it's trying to remove some of those echoes to the point where it's starting to sound a little distorted. And I've also noticed that it has a tendency to remove some of the higher frequencies in the vocal range and amplify the lower ones. Now, this makes sense because it's trying to emulate some of those 
kind of up close podcast mics and kind of give off the same quality as those, which they're tools for podcasting, it, it makes total sense. But it's doing it in such a way that it just kind of sounds off. It's, to me anyway, it kind of sounds like I'm hearing a reproduction of my voice and, and not the actual thing, which <laughs> just saying that sounds kind of weird. Okay, and just for fun, I'm gonna see what it sounds like when I have an air dryer go an air dryer, when I have a hair dryer going at full blast. So this is kind of what it sounds like. I'm still using the lav mic. But in here from now, instead I have this hair dryer going and there's the proof, it's working. And honestly, if you can fix this audio or even do anything to the slightest, I'm gonna be in place. I can lie, but uh, you know, this is kind of good to know if maybe you're like recording audio of like an F1 track, race track, or in maybe like at a hair dryer factory or something like that. So maybe, maybe you'll find yourself in that kind of situation and you'll be glad that you have the speech enhancement tool. So how do you actually use this new tool? Well, to start, all you have to do is go to podcast.adobe.com and you will be greeted with this web page. Now you'll see here, this used to be called Project Shasta, it's now Adobe Podcast. And you'll see the first thing is request access. Now that is only for a certain tool, which is mostly the transcription and an actual audio recording. You're not gonna need to request access for this. So if we just scroll down, you'll see here's a video. Here's a description of what the Adobe Podcast kind of service will let you do. We'll do remote recording and you have AI powered audio. So this is where we want to check out, but you'll also see here that they have a mic checking service as well as some templates, but we're interested in this. So let's go try it out. And you'll be brought into this little page here. So you can either play this and you can hear an example of how the service actually works, but you've heard that already. What I'm interested in is the section here. So we're going to upload and you have, here's my little window or my folder that has all the audio from my video stripped out. So I'm gonna grab the intro audio and let's just open that. And you'll see here, it immediately starts enhancing the speech. Now we'll get a little pop-up here. It'll say it can take up to 10 minutes with longer clips. It's obviously gonna take a longer time, but I've found that it's generally not too bad. One thing worth mentioning as well is that it'll let you upload up to an hour of audio or one gigabyte. I'm sure it kind of matters which comes first. Okay, and we're done. And that wasn't too bad. It took around two minutes to process the entire clip. And you can see here, we can test out the actual, uh, see how it sounds. Everyone always talks about how important good audio is. And you can see what it sounds like without the enhancement done. Your image could be a steaming pile of sh There we go. And you can either upload another, or in this case, we'll download. And then just like anything, you save to the folder that you want to do it in. I've already saved this, so I'm not going to do it again, but that's it. So as we can see, there is definitely room for improvement in some places, but the fact that this actually works is absolutely mind boggling. It's nuts to think that with AI and machine learning, we're actually at a point where I might just be better off fixing it in post. Now, okay, before you say anything, I'm kidding. But this isn't the only tool in Adobe Podcasts suite. There's also a mic check tool that sort of verifies how good your mic is, including the placement as well as a full audio transcription tool, but I'm still waiting for my invite on that one. Now, if those sound at all interesting to you, I will be doing full videos on both of them whenever I can get my hands on them. So if that's something that sounds good, I recommend that you subscribe. And this week, I wanna hear about some interesting people that you think are worth following on social media. Now, this can be on Twitter or Instagram or TikTok, wherever, it doesn't really matter. And it doesn't actually matter what they do either. If you think that they're worth following, then I wanna hear about it. My name is Robin and I'll see you in the next one.